hey the dipping inspiration have yet so today i'm going to take you through a guide on how you can set up your fry indoor decibel miner now before i get into the setup i want to show you quickly how you can get one of these miners so just come to the fryfoundation.com website under shop you see a list of fry miners that are available here i'm going to give you a discount code that can reduce the price 35 percent down irrespective of which fry miner that you buy now for this demonstration what we're going to be buying is we're going to buy an indoor decibel miner so just click on decibel miners and then currently we're going to set up an indoor decibel miner so you can buy one one of these for 250 dollars so just click on view details and then depending on location select the kind of plug that you like to have so i mean eu i'm going to stick this to eu put in the quantity that you want to buy and just click on add to cuts and then here click on view cuts so currently you see that the price is 250 dollars if you put in my promo code which is depend inspiration hub and apply this you will see that the price reduces from $250 to $162.5. So if you want to buy one of these devices, don't forget to use a promo code to even reduce the price further down. So to set up the miner, just come to the fryfoundation.com website. Under hardware miner resources, just come and select it under the downloads. Select the indoor decibel miner. I'm going to click on this. And then to install the application or to download the application, all you have to do is to just click to install. And then this will download the file for you that we're going to be installing. So now I'm in my downloads folder, where the file that I downloaded is basically still. Thought. I'm going to double click this to open this and then all you have to do is to double click on the fry indoor decibel installer. So Microsoft Defender is going to warn you from running this application but if you are pretty sure that you downloaded the original file from the fry foundation website just click on more info and then run anyway. So the installer comes in a pack of softwares that we're going to be installing in the process. To begin with this just click on next. Leave everything as it is as it default. Click on next and then you see that the fry this indoor decibel miner installation is in progress. Now the first application that we're going to be installing is called node.js click on next accept the terms and conditions click on next 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 and then install so the installation is complete all you have to do now is to click on finish there is a second application that we're also going to need or to install and this is called 7zip here just click on install to get this installed as well and then click on close so now it says the indoor decibel installation is completed click on next and then it happens sometimes that we get this error. The team is working on a fix. It might be that by the time you be setting up your device, you wouldn't see this error. Now to rectify this, I'm going to show you how we're going to correct it. Just click on OK and click on Next. Then basically the installer closes. Now we'll just come back to the same file that we downloaded. Try to run the application again. What we're going to do now is we're going to uninstall the application and then reinstall it and this should fix the problem. Click on More Info like we did before. Run anyway. So it's going to give you a warning that this application is already installed. First uninstall the old version. Click on OK. And then now we basically going to go through the uninstallation process click on next and then click on finish and then come to the same file again so the file is really we're going to run this three times install this again by double click on this just like we did before we're going to run this anyway and then here click on next next this time around it's going to be a bit faster because it's going to skip the two files that were installed in node.js and the service because we had already installed this and also it also installed this ulin loudness meter basically that's going to be the software that is going to be measuring these decibels so this is completed so here we're going to put in the 25 words secret free of your outground wallet if you do not have an outground wallet you can just create one for free using the para wallet app and this is also what i use because it's a very easy application to use i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste this in here so i've pasted in the secret phrase and just click on ok and then finish and then basically we are done with the setup so you're going to get this application that is going to open basically this is what is going to be measuring the decibels here you can decide to either enable the updates but i'm going to do, i'm just going to click on disable to disable this and then basically you can we can minimize this now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to register our miner so to do so just come to the fry foundation website come to hardware miner resources and then navigate to registration and then what we want to register is we want to register an indoor decibel miner just click on this and then all you have to do here is to just fill in the form put in your first and last name your email address your outgrant wallet address and then your order number you will get an order number from the order confirmation that you received so this is that email that you received when you ordered the miner click on upload to upload the file you can just take a picture of the miner with your phone Upload this here check that you are not a robot and just submit the form so after submitting the form you're going to get this confirmation that your miner has been registered and what is also important to mention here is that this can take up to three days before you start to see your first rewards but typically it comes in way faster than this what is also very important is that make sure that you have at least 10 outgrant in your wallet and then you have also opted for fry crypto this just means that adding fry crypto to your wallet 
So if your decibel miner is working, you're going to see this command prompt, which is basically recording all the decibels and uploading this or sending this to the fry end. So do not get worried when you see this, it basically means that your decibel miner is working. What you would also see in your para wallet transaction is you're going to have these periodic zero fry transactions and these are there basically to make sure that your miner is online so it's more or less like a connectivity check so do not get surprised when you see this basically that's it on how to set up the fry in dot decibel miner if you do have any questions you can come to the fry discord and the team they'll be very, very happy to help you out thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one bye